Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a dropshipping store with Shopify using the starter plan. We'll be covering how you can sign up for a Shopify account, choose a store theme, how you can grab an offer to get started with the Shopify starter plan, and so much more so that you can get started with your Shopify dropshipping business. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. And the very first thing that we need to do is that we want to head over to shopify.com and then hit that start free trial button. From there, you will be redirected to create your account using your email address and you will be granted a three day free trial, which is not really anything that you can start a Shopify store with. So go ahead and grab that temporary offer in the description box down below. When creating an account using the link, you will be granted the three day free trial. And then after that, you can choose any one of the plans on the screen right here for only $1 a month for your first three months. So once you've submitted the signup form, Shopify will start building your backend store admin dashboard. And this is where you'll manage everything related to your store, like adding products, configuring shipping, running sales reports, and more. Next up, you should choose a theme to control the look and feel of your Shopify storefront. Shopify offers over 100 free and paid themes spanning simple single page stores to advanced multi-page designs. I recommend sorting themes based on your product type, for example, choosing a theme designed specifically for fashion stores. If you're going to be dropshipping clothing items, these specialized themes make your products shine with relevant features, and you can preview the candidate themes by customizing them with your own images and content. For this video, I'm going to be applying the Dawn theme, which highlights products on lifestyle backdrops, and I would recommend customizing it and getting very creative to stand out from competitors. Next up, it's time to add products to sell. For dropshipping, you will import items to your Shopify store from a wholesale supplier like Oberlo, AliExpress, or Spocket. These suppliers house millions of products covering every category imaginable. You can browse their catalogs directly within Shopify thanks to the built-in Oberlo or AliExpress applications. Simply head over to Shopify App Store and install one within a few clicks. And once connected, you can search for products relevant to your store's niche. When you find ones to import, then click add to import list. And it is that easy to add products to your Shopify store, even if you don't really have any experience with dropshipping. Back in your Shopify store, the approved products get added directly into your own store catalog with proper images and descriptions. And you can customize the listings further if desired, but I would advise against it until you've had some experience. To start processing real orders, you want to open your Shopify store settings and then set up the appropriate shipping rates and payment methods. For dropshipping, you will typically offer free economy shipping given how low product costs. So click into the shipping zones and enable free shipping by order price or weight. Plus, customers really like when it says free shipping. On here, you have lots of options for payment methods like credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, bank transfers, etc. So enable any popular options suited for your target country, require payments upfront to reduce risks. Additional tip I could provide is to offer fast paid shipping options like today or the next day. A lot of the customers will gladly pay extra for urgent delivery. And this will be all on today's video. This should cover the course store setup. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any other questions on the topic. And if you've enjoyed today's video, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.